Hey everyone, Techni here with a comparison of the Ducky 1-2 Mecha Mini and then the Durgat and HK Gaming Venus 60% gaming keyboards. And now I did detailed reviews on both of these boards. Actually on the Venus, we actually took it completely apart and everything. And I'll plug both of the videos at the end of this one. So make sure you check those out if you want a little bit more details within each of the boards here. So as far as in your box with the Ducky Mecha Mini here, you're gonna get your little dust cover, your USB-C cable detachable, little manual, a keycap puller, a year of the pig space bar over here which is just abs not pbt like the rest of the keycaps here and then you get some replacement keycaps pinkish red let's leave it right there let's agree on pinkish red now inside your box you dirt got an hk game in venus over here a dust cover again you're gonna get your manual a wire keycap puller you actually can get an a to c and a c to c uh cable right here and i believe that c to c is really nice for using it on like imax and stuff since your connections are right on the back of it right there it's not as long as the a to c if you were to use it on a pc PC. Again, it's really nice to have that CDC nice and short, bam, right into the back of your Mac right there. Get a uh, sticker and then a cable tie and then a little sample of the mouse pad or you can use it as a coaster. All right, so first off, before we even plug the keyboards in or anything, I wanna talk about the build with these guys. Both of these are completely metal. I mean, they are incredibly lofty. The Venus coming in at right at one pound, 11 ounces, and then the Ducky Mecha Mini coming in at one pound, right at 13 ounces. So yes, the Mecha Mini is a pinch heavier, and let me tell you what, I mean, these things are incredibly lofty. Look at them techni, look at them techni muscles right there. And I'm spent. Now, as far as the design of the cases right here, as far as the frame going around here, it is a pinch thicker on the Ducky Mecha Mini than the Venus. And also on the Ducky, the edges are pointed and a little bit sharp right there. When on the Venus, they kind of roll around the whole deal. Now, when you get to the backside of, say, the Venus right here, you can see it gets much thicker than the Ducky over here. But again, they're both metal, so they don't flex one bit anyway. Now, when we look right underneath the keycaps right here, you can see on the Ducky, you have that big space right going down there and you can see pretty much straight down to the PCB. That's going around the entire keyboard there. Now when you get over to the Venus right here, you can see the metal plate underneath the keycaps goes edge to edge around the entire keyboard. So is that a pro or con? I don't know, maybe it'll help you out with some crumbs and some gunk getting stuck down into there. When again on the Venus, it'll prevent anything from getting down into underneath your board. All right, so now when we flip the keyboards over and look at the underside over here, starting with the Venus, you have four rubber feet, but that is it. You have a really nice stock ergonomic incline, which is how I leave all of my keyboards. I never use the pop out feet but again no pop out feet over here but a very nice stock ergonomic incline coming over here to the ducky mecha mini again four rubber feet nice ergonomic incline but you can also pop out the two feet they have right here with rubber grips on them as well now also on the ducky mecha mini right over here you can see you have a little dip switch would allow you to move the windows key your function keys and all that stuff a couple different combos as far as your bottom row right there now on the venus over here you actually have software i don't know if i've mentioned it but ducky no software everything's controlled right on the board but again going to the venus talking about that dip switch and adjusting your keys you can do it on the Durgod Hera Hera software right there and adjust all your switches that way all right so a couple more things on the build right here I'm going to talk about connecting them with our USB-C cable both of our connections are on the top left of the keyboards here as you see on the ducky it's kind of flush right there bam and then you connect your cable get over here to the Durgod it goes in a little bit into the housing and then your cables can connect which is really nice because it keeps it in there very secure not much wobble or anything like that but the stinker about it is some cables don't fit i like using some basic cheap aftermarket cables off amazon just some different colored ones but again a lot of them don't fit in there when again over here on the ducky pretty much any cable will fit but again you don't have that extra security of keeping it nice and secure in there so you kind of got to pick your battle there so now one other thing as far as the case design as you see on the ducky mecha mini you have that floating key design so you can get two different benefits out of that if you like i guess benefit depending on the person right number one your key press is going to be a little bit louder which will do that sound test coming up here and then your RGB is going to again radiate out right there. When you come over to the Venus, you press down, it goes into that house, and so it's going to mute that sound a little bit and again kind of hold that RGB in there, give you a little bit more of that professional look. So again, you kind of get to pick which one do you want, which is nice to have the options. Now that brings me right into the keycaps here. Both keyboards are using double shot PBT keycaps, nice little texture coating on the front, shine through, very crisp and solid keycaps across both boards here. On the Ducky Mecha Mini, you're using OEM profile. Come over here to the Venus and use the cherry profile and the cherry profile is just a little bit shorter than again that OEM right there it took me a little while to get used to on this but again after a couple days using it 
perfectly fine. So now looking inside the keyboard right here, you see our metal plate. The Ducky Mecha Mini has the white one. The Venus has silver. So again, with the Ducky Mecha Mini going off that white, that RGB is again going to radiate and really shine on that white right there, kind of making it a little bit more vibrant. Now looking at both keyboards as far as the stabilizers here, they're both pretty solid. Both of them are lubed. The Venus is absolutely sloshed with lube right there, and they sound fantastic. Now this is where things start to get a little bit different here. This is talking about switches. With the Ducky Mecha Mini, you can only get it in Cherry MX Red. And they have the whole array of Cherry MX, by the way. On my Ducky Mecha Mini, I have Cherry MX Reds, by the way. Coming over here to the Venus, you can get in a different array of manufacturers for your switches, from Kales to Gatoron to Cherry MX, and the price will vary per switch on the board right there. Again, I believe starting around 99, going up to like 130 something, I believe. And on my board here, I have Cherry MX Silence. All right, so what did you think about that sound test right there? I mean, they both sound incredibly solid. Yeah, they do sound a little different. Again, basic Cherry MX reds over here, and then silence over here. But underneath the Venus, whenever I tore it down in that video, you can check out after this one. Underneath right there, you have a nice piece of cloth right there as far as a sound dampener. Again, very hard for me to tell since I'm using silence already, but I bet it's pretty nice if you're using like a blue or a brown or something like that. Just kind of alleviate any ping or tingy sound right there. And again, yes, the Ducky Mecha Mini is a little little bit louder even with basic cherry mx red because you have that floating key design there's nothing really dampening that sound down whenever you press it down bam all your sound just coming out right there so again kind of take that how you want do you want it louder keyboard this is going to do it. You want something nice and silent, even without Cherry MX Silence, the Venus is going to hold some of that sound down for you. So now let's go ahead and talk RGB right here. And we all know Ducky has always had very, very solid, crisp, nice flow, nice motion in the effects RGB, right? Some of the best. But I honestly got to give the upper hand to the Venus right here. It's not much by any means. It's not saying, oh, hey, this one's trash. But again, over here on the Venus, it's just a little bit more potent. It just has a little bit more punch in it. Again, both of them look fantastic, but I got to give the upper hand to the Venus here. Now, talking about adjusting that RGB on the Ducky again, everything's adjusted right on the keyboard, which is really nice. You never need any software. You can get custom colors, your effects and everything, bam, right on the board. Coming over here to the Venus, you can adjust a lot of the effects on there but when you got to want to get in there and start adjusting like custom colors or per key and stuff like that yes you do have to use a dur god hera software but it's pretty cool you get in there you adjust it you program it you can set your profiles as far as your rgb and everything bam then just delete the software it's going to save right to the keyboard now one other thing that's really cool on the venus while we're looking at the lights right here if you look at the upper right hand side of the venus you have these three little led lights and it's pretty cool in the software again you can program those to wherever you want if you want to profile one two and three your caps lock with Whatever, your game mode which is what I have it on my caps lock my profile and then as far as game mode if it's active right there so I really like those little indicators right there going over to the ducky and whenever you press caps it just lights up that key white right there kind of throws off your color of RGB I don't know a little bit nitpicky but again I really like how you can keep this as far as smooth RGB and bam you have those little notifications up there now talking about using each keyboard right here we all know using 60% keyboards are quite tough using for daily tasks or work or anything using to go to that full size or that 10 keyless keyboard whenever you're working right when you come to 60 percent keyboards you have to go through multiple different layers or shortcuts to access your functions now on the ducky mecha mini over here you have all your functions printed on the side of the keycaps whether it be your media keys your function layer your arrows and all that stuff is printed right on the side of the keycap come over here to the venus and it's just your basic functions your rgb your function layer and then uh, your basic print screen and stuff like that no arrows or anything when again everything's printed on the Ducky Mecha Mini. So again, that goes into play as personal preference. Do you want everything printed right there so you kind of have it as that reference? Or do you want that really crisp, just smooth design where you don't have all sorts of stuff printed on your keyboard? Again, it's up to you. Did I cover everything? I feel like I'm missing something here. 
Again, I did do detailed reviews on both of these boards, so if you wanna kinda really dive into each one, just check those out. Again, I'll plug them at the end right here. But anyways, my final conclusion of the Ducky Mech Mini and the Durgat and HK Gaming Venus 60% gaming keyboards. So as I stated throughout the entire video, there's a lot of personal preference things with both of these boards. But honestly, if I had to pick one, it'd be a no-brainer and easy pick to go with the Durgat and HK Gaming Venus. I just love the extra features on it. I love the build and I like the aesthetics. And again, I, I just really, like it. I'm not really a big fan of that floating key design. I honestly can't stand the sound of it, you know what I mean? But again, both of them are very solid. But like I stated, if I had to pick one, it's an easy pick, the Venus. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this comparison. I hope I answered some of your questions and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.